Hey everyone, welcome back to the third part of this course in which I will show you how to build and deploy a full e-commerce website in Monster. So in this third part, we will see how to make the account page and also how to make a forgot password page. These two things we will be seeing today. So let me just show you what the account page look like. So this is the final version of the uh, e-commerce website. So let me just log in real quick. So I will write here the email ID. And let me just write the password real quick here. Hit the checkbox. Click submit here. And it will take me to the home, uh, to the account page. So as you can see, it uh, it shows the name of the user and also the email ID. And then it will give three options. So you can either go to the orders page, cart page, contact page, and also you can log out. So this is the account page which we will be making today. And if I just log out, you can see in the login page, uh, there is a forgot password page. So this will be also we will be making today. So let's go to the VS code and see how to do that. So let me just close this. So this is our website, which we have uh, make. Okay. So here, all right. So before making an account page, we will be creating a cookie. So whenever someone will log in or sign up, in our website, in our e-commerce website, a cookie will be generated in their device. So to do that, it is very simple. You just have to install and dependencies. I have already told you to install that in the previous video, but if you haven't uh, installed it, install it now. So let me just close the terminal here, close the react app, clear the terminal and you have to write NPMI js cookie so this is the dependency you have to install to use or like to create or get the cookie so let it install all right and now we can easily import it in our react tab so here i will write import cookies from js cookie just like that and to use this uh, here I will write it in the so yeah just above this success message so whenever someone is logging in in our website and the login is successful then only we will be uh, like creating a cookie so I will write here cookies dot set so this set is a like function or a method which comes with this JS cookie extension so here you have to give the name first. So the name of the cookie, I will write here email. You, have, you can write it anything, okay. I will name it email. And then after that, you have to give the value. So what is the value? So how we can get the email? So I will just write, um, I will just write form, not from, form dot email. That's it. So in this way, uh, you will get the email the value of the email then after that you can also write one argument it is optional but uh, you have to write it and in the curly braces you can write expires so you can see it is recommending me as well so this expires as the name suggests it will uh, like it will expire or delete the cookie after the uh, like how many dates you have provided so if i just write here seven so this means that after seven days the cookie will automatically get deleted or destroyed so you can write here any number of days let me just write here seven all right so i will do the same thing in the sign up page as well so in the sign up page i will come here in the success page uh, in the success message and paste it here and also i have to paste this import method in the sign up page as well all right so i think now we are done we have successfully created a cookie and let me just start the react tab all right to see if the cookie is like if the cookie is working or not you can simply write let me just uh, create a you know create a email id so i will write here user at the rate mail.com which we have created in the previous video i will write the password and hit submit here 
and you can see successfully registered you can see successfully registered and to see the cookie if it is there or not you can simply go to the inspect and click on this application right here and here you will find the cookies so click on this local host and yes as you can see a new cookie is there the name is email and the value is user at the date mail.com so that's exactly what we want so that means the cookie is working great and the dependency js cookie is working great so let's close the inspect page all right so after making this cookie here let me just start making the account page so for that we have to make a new component so me let's make a new component i will name it my account.js very simple name and here let's write the boilerplate so rfc hit enter okay and inside the div i will make a section tag or right and uh, let's style the section tag first so i will write text gray okay um so it is not recommending me okay all right so text gray let's say 600 let's say grade and place item center here so place item center then mt6 which is margin top and mb also 6 which is margin bottom uh, we can just simply write my6 so it will cover both the conditions and inside this section page i will add an h1 tag here and style it as well so here i will write for small devices i will write text is equal to for excel so just like that but uh, by default it will be 3 excel and then mb will be 4 here then font medium so font will be medium here and the color of the text will be uh, black okay and here i will write the name of the user so i will write hello and uh, the name so name so to get the name we have to define it also so this will be an use state so i will write here name comma not use set name is equal to use state here and it will be an empty string all right and after that i will add a p tag here then style it as well i will write mb8 and that's it and here i will write your email id okay your email id and then here so here what we will do or uh, to get the email id we can just simply use the cookie so to get the cookie um i will write const cookie val is equal to so first of all i have to import the cookie so i have to import the js cookie here so let me write this add here and now to get the cookie values so i can use the get method okay so to set the cookie we will be uh, we are using uh, where it is the set method and to get the cookie we will use get method so it is very simple and we have to just write the name of the cookie so the name was email and in this way this cookie well will contain the email id so here i can simply write cookie well so in this way your email id will be equal to the original email id then i have to write a div here inside this i will add the options so here i will write p4 width will be full here then i will define it as flex and uh, flex wrap here okay flex wrap here and justify let's say justify center all right and here here what i will do i will add a link 
okay to get the to get to the orders page or the cart page so let me just do that quickly or right, that's so why i've written the code here you can see it is a link to get to the orders page you can see orders and uh, let me show you how it is looking so let me just save it and click on it and okay okay so you cannot see it right now because we haven't like get the my my account page in here so let me just quickly do that so to do that what we will do uh, come to this first route here which is login and uh, what i will do i will just simply delete it and instead of that i will first define uh, uh, let me just write it here so i will first import the cookies here so just like that i will import it here and in the function part i will write some javascript code so i will write here const cookie val uh, uh let me just write it as a use state so i will write cookie val then set cookie val okay and this will be an use state so use state and by default it will be cookies dot get email so by default the value of cookie well will be the email which is there and the email can be null or undefined also if the user has not logged in or sign up so in that case the email will be undefined and now we can use this cookie well here so what i will do first firstly just copy this line here here what i will do if the cookie well is undefined okay if the cookie well is undefined then what we will do we will simply uh, take the user to the login page so i will simply write this okay so if the you cookie well is undefined that means the user has not logged in or signed up so in that case we will be directing the user to the login page and i will copy this and if the cookie is the uh is not undefined so here you can see is not undefined so in that case we will be taking the user to the my account page so it will be very simple i will just write here my account okay so my account but you can see the path is login in both cases so that means whenever a user will click on this account slash login page it will check the cookie if the cookie is undefined then the login page will show up but the if the cookie is there if email id is there then the account page will show up so in that case you don't have to log in again and again in your e-commerce site so that will be a very beneficial move uh, and it will increase the user experience as well and one more thing you have to write here so whenever you are you know um changing the login like you can uh, log out and then log in again so how like app will know if you are changing the cookie and act as well so to do that i will write here and use effect so use effect which will be an arrow function and it will change on the basis of this cookie value so let me just write cookie val and here what i will do firstly i will make a new constant called interval which will be set interval and uh, it will be an arrow function as well and uh, after so after 1000 seconds oh so 1000 milliseconds so after every second it will check if the cookie has changed or not so inside this interval i will write updated cookie and this will be equal to cookies dot get email and here i will write the if statement so if 
अपडेटेड कुकी इज नॉट इक्वल टू ओके इज नॉट इक्वल टू कुकी वेल सो वॉट दैट मीन्स इफ द अपडेटेड कुकी इज डिफरेंट दैट मीन्स सम वन हैज लॉकड आउट और द यूजर हैज लॉकड इन विद एन डिफरेंट ई मेल सो इन दैट केस वी वॉन्ट द यू नो वी वॉन्ट द कुकी टू बी अपडेटेड एज वेल एज वी वॉन्ट द एप टू रिएक्ट एज वेल सो इफ द कुकीज आर डिफरेंट इन दैट केस वी विल सिंपली राइट सेट कुकी वेल अपडेटेड अपडेटेड कुकी दैट्स इट एंड देन यू हैव टू राइट आफ्टर दिस सेट इंटरवल राइट रिटर्न विच विल बी एन एरो फंक्शन एज वेल दैट एन एरो हेयर and let's write clear interval so you have to clear the interval as well because if you do not write this it will run infinitely so clear interval then interval that's it so in this way okay so it is giving me an error let me just see what is the error so link is not defined uh, where it is my account all right so so here it is saying link is not defined so what we have to do let me just copy it from the navbar page so i will copy this line here close the navbar page and paste it here all right now i think it will be gone okay all right and uh, let me just make some new pages also so i'll write here orders.js then card.js and uh, uh what that's it okay so let me just leave like that all right so let's see if it is working or not so let me just reload our website here click on this account page and yes you can see it is working you can see as the cookie is there you can see the email id is correct user at the rate mail.com and you can see the account page so that means our account page is working and the cookies are working so now let's continue to style our account page so let me just go to the account page my account page and copy this link and paste it one more time and now i will do the same for the cart so i will write here your cart and let's see how it is looking so yeah as you can see and now let's change the icon also so as i told you in previous videos you can use this font awesome website which is a great website uh, to get the icons in your website so click on this icons and you can search for any icon so let me just search for cart here let it load and you can see we will be using this icon and click on this code it will be copy and just paste it here so instead of this i will paste it here and now let's see and yep as you can see it is there but it is way smaller so to do that or to make it bigger i will just copy this and paste it here just like that and yep as you can see now it is great all right so our account page is almost complete we now have to get the name okay because the name is not there and also add a log out button so let's first let me just do format document first of all all right so let's first add a log out button so i will come after the div here i add a button here and i will write on click i will say log out that's it nothing else then in the class name i will design it ml4 text gray let's say 700 then bg gray as well uh let's say very light okay very light let's say 300 then border border will be zero okay then py will be 2 which is the margin in y direction 
and then px will be 6 all right and then on hover okay on hover what we will do we will change the background so background gray and change it darker and here inside the button i will write log out oops log out that's it let's see how it is looking uh okay so log out is not defined let me just quickly make a function so to like log out a user from your website it is very simple you just have to remove the cookie it is very simple so you just have to make a new function here log out as the name of our function is log out and uh, it will be an arrow function so let me write arrow function here so here you have to write cookies because we have imported the cookies as well then you have to use the remove function so here you can write remove email so let's see um, okay so log out and uh, log out uh, so it is not working what is this error log out is not defined but it is defined what are you saying let me just reload the page here go to the login page all right so now it is there uh, it was some glitch all right so you can see our logout button is there let me just quickly click on this and see what will happen so i will i have clicked on this and yep as you can see logout button is working great you can see we get back to the login page so now let's uh, login again I will add user at the mail.com password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hit the checkbox, click on submit, and yep, as you can see, it is showing successfully registered. And our admin page, sorry, the account page is there. So now let's get the name. So to get the name, what I will do, I can just use the Axios. So to use this Axios, I will first import this here and also um, what um, this thing okay so let me just grab this here copy this and paste it in our account page and we don't need all of these so let me just quickly remove what we don't need so we don't need this and instead of this login i will write my account and uh, here uh, we will just remove all these and uh, remove this one okay so i think now we are done uh all right so i have i think i have removed the wrong mm -mm 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 all right okay so now it is done and here i will simply pass the cookie value so cookie value let me just see the cookie value is defined all right so it is defined and uh, here i will just run the submit function so i will write use effect use effect it will be an arrow function and we just want it to run once and here i will write submit so in this way this submit function will run and it will get the name so we have to write the code in server also so let's go to the server page here and before this login here so here we have to add that so i'll write here app dot post and then i will write slash my account then just you know similar things you have to write um, request comma response and arrow function and then try and catch blocks so inside this try block you have to write email which will be request dot body dot cookie 
val and then make a new oops and then make a new constant which is check which will check if the email exists or not in our database so we will be writing await user collection here dot find one which is a method in mongodb to find the data if it exists or not so i will write here email so it will check if the email exists or not and then we will be passing a json check dot name so in this way we will be uh, passing the name to the front end part and if anything goes wrong here we will be just passing the json called fail that's it and now we will be requiring it here so here i will use set name and then write set name res dot data so in this way the name will be there so let's see okay so it is saying toast is not defined all right so let's grab the toast as well now where it is all right and then paste it here and you know what we don't need this okay so we need if anything goes wrong so let me just reload and uh, let's wait if the name is there or not or right, so you can see uh, our name is not here so i think there is a problem let, let me see what is that all right so the error was you have to paste this cookie value in the use effect and also you have to remove this uh, remove this prevent default so make sure to remove that and let's save it and see so yep as you can see it is giving me the name so the name user1 and the email id user@mail.com and it is giving me these two uh, cards and also the logout button so our account page is complete so now let's move on to create the forgot password so let me just quickly log out here and here we have to add the forgot button here so let's do that and to do that we will come to the login page and here i will simply copy it down and move it up here and here i will write forgot password and then i will uh, send it to forgot password page that's it let's save it and now we also have to make a new page uh, forgot password dot js let's save it so let's see you can see forgot password is there all right and then we have to also require it here so let me just copy it down and here i will write Mm, let me just first of all write the boilerplate here. So save it, and now it will be recommending me. So let's say forgot password here. You can see now it is there, and I will write forgot password. That's it. All right. So now let's write some code in our forgot password page. So what we can write in our forgot password page? we can first make a form so to make a form we can just simply copy the login page here so i will copy this login form and uh, paste it inside this div save it and we will see some errors yep you can see so to remove that firstly let's copy this submit function also from our login page um i think we will okay so let's copy this submit function also and paste it in our forgot password page then you can see we are changing some data here in the input tags so now we don't have to write uh, like object 
we can simply write a use state so i'll make a use state uh, called email slash set email which will be a use state so use state uh, by default it will be empty and here i can simply write value is email and then set email and this will be equal to e dot target dot value that's it so in this way we will be changing the email and also i have to require the recapture so let's do that recapture just like that and i think we are done uh, i will remove this here and this and i will add a button to go back to the you know to go back to the login page so just like that let's see so toast caps value is not defined um so let me just import all these so i will import this let's see capture value mm, here so form cookies and link okay so form so i will provide the link so link and cookies uh do we need cookies i don't know but let's just import it here and then the last was form so what is this form so let's save it uh line 20 number f- line 24 form okay so here it is so instead of this form i will write email Mm-mm. Uh, for now, just remove all these. So save it. All right. So, um, so let's click on this forward password. So yeah, our forward password page is looking something like this. And uh, let's just change the login uh, where it is. So let's change this login. to forgot password all right okay so i think the design part is complete in the forgot password page and then what i will do if someone uh, you know if someone click on this email and the email exist and then hit submit then we will generate an otp and then we will send that otp to the email id that the user have uh, entered here so to send an email we will be using node mailer so it is an extension or you can say dependency uh, which is used to send emails very efficiently and very quickly all right so first of all we will be making a new use state called otp so i will write a otp set otp okay uh, let's write the o capital and then the value will be null by default all right and then we will create another uh, use state and this will be the actual otp value so i will write here set otp value and this will be also an empty string and then a constant here called digits so this will be equal to a string of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 and uh, let's say it is 0 as well so we will be using this random value here this string to get the random values to get the otp so how we can do that we can simply write in the submit button here okay in the submit button else after this else here i can write 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स मेक अ यू नो लेट्स मेक अ वेरिएबल कॉल लेट एंड देन फॉर लेट आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन आई लेस देन सिक्स बिकॉज द ओ टी पी विल बी सिक्स करेक्टर्स लॉन्ग ओके ओ टी पी विल बी इक्वल टू ओके डिजिट्स और नॉट दिस डिजिट्स एंड देन वील बी यूजिंग सम मैथ फंक्शन हेयर सो मैथ डॉट फ्लो एंड मैथ डॉट रैंडम एंड वील मल्टीप्लाई इट बटन सो इन दिस वे आफ्टर दिस फॉर लूप द ओ टी पी विल बी ऑफ सिक्स करेक्टर्स लॉन्ग एंड इट विल बी अ रैंडम नंबर विच इज सिक्स करेक्टर्स लॉन्ग सो देन वी कैन जस्ट सिंपली से सेट ओ टी पी इक्वल टू ओ टी पी सो इन दिस वे दिस ओ टी पी वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू द ओ टी पी वैल्यू सो देन वी कैन जस्ट ग्रैप दिस ओ टी पी इन आवर बैक एंड एंड यूज इट सो विल राइट हेयर ओ टी पी और राइट सो नाउ आई विल चेंज दिस हेयर एंड राइट ई मेल सेंड ई मेल ओके सो सेंड ई मेल एंड नाउ लेट्स गो टू द सर्वर डॉट जे एस एंड नाउ लेट सम राइट सम कोड हेयर सो आई विल कॉपी दिस डाउन हेयर एंड पेस्ट सेंड ई मेल एंड देन एवरी थिंग विल बी सेम एंड हेयर आई विल राइट ई मेल उप्स ई मेल Then copy this down and write OTP because you remember uh, we have passed two values email and OTP. So we will check if the user is there or not. So if check, okay. So if the user exists, then we will do something. But if the user is not there, okay. So if the user is not there, then we will simply uh, pass. Uh, oops. So then we will simply say not exist okay and remove this from here and uh, all right so one more dependency you have to install before using node mailer so you can uh, you have to install node mailer so i have already installed it uh, let me show you so here it is you can see node mailer so just install it in your server folder not in the client one so install this node mailer and we will be using that so inside this check i will make a new constant called transporter okay so transporter this will be equal to or that so we have to also require the node mailer but we haven't so let me write this express require um, node let it load uh, just node mailer and i will remove uh, copy it here as well okay just like that and i will write here node mailer dot create transport you can see it is recommending me as well and here you have to write service so write the service name so the service name will be gmail okay so the service name will be gmail and then write auth here you have to provide some data uh the first will be the user the email id from which you are sending the email so here i will write the email id which is uh this one at the rate gmail.com so this is the mail id uh, from which all the emails will be sending to the users then the second option or the second argument here will be the password so here to use the password this is not the password of your email is it is a different password which is app password so make sure to get the app password uh in your google account okay so you can get the app password by going to your google account and creating a new app password for a different device so make sure to get that and here i will write that but i will not show you of course it is a password 
so i will be using dot env so you can see i have a folder called dot env uh, and to use that you have to write process dot env and dot and then the name so i have named that my email pass and to use a env i have already installed the package but you have to do one more thing which is require dot env so that's it and also write config so in this way i can simply use this email password and you cannot see the email password as well so the email password is inside this and if you want to see how to use this dot env i have already uploaded a video how to use env to secure your passwords and private data so you can see that if you don't know how to do that okay so after this uh after this transporter what i will do i will make another constant called mail oops called mail option this will be equal to an object here so i will write from so i will write here e-commerce then to so here you have to give the email id then subject okay what is the subject here so i will write here password reset and then the name the main uh, you know the message which is the text so here i will use backticks so the code to reset your oops the code to reset your password is and uh, we will be using otp so in this way this otp will get to the user email id and then i will be using transporter you can see transporter dot send email you can see it is recommending me as well and then mail option okay so mail option and here i will write error if any error is there and then an info argument as well and it will be an error function so if any error is there then we can simply you know uh, json dot that error so i will write here res dot json and that error but if not so else res dot json and write of um, pass okay so instead of this error write fail here all right so everything if everything goes right it will pass the json so i think we are done with the back end part and this code will uh, you know send the email send the otp to your email so let's test if this works or not all right so let's test if the email if the node mailer is working or not so i will click on this forgot password let it reload so that the checkbox appears so i will write the email id techie web 2003 hit the checkbox click on the submit and let's wait and so i have also you know add some code i will show you later so let me just firstly show you if the code is if the email is there or not so you can see this is the home page of gmail and you can see the password the reset password is there and you can see the code to create a new password for the demo e-commerce website is this so you can see the code is there which is 715468 so i will just simply copy it and paste it here so i will show you how i have make this pop up also so i will paste it here and if i just paste the wrong password and hit submit you will see this is saying invalid code so you have to write the exact code and now after writing it you can see we come to a new page which is uh, which is reset password so here you have to you know just write a new password so i'm writing a new password and also confirm the new password and hit submit and okay so it is saying passwords do not match so let me just write one more time so hit submit 
and here as you can see passwords changed successfully so that means our forgot password is also working so let me show you what i have done extra uh, to make that pop up and also reset password so till here you can see till here you know so whenever this pass function will run you can see if the pass if the email is pass which means the email has sent so that means code sent to the email and i have make a uh, use state set show pop up and it will be true and if it the email does not exist so you can see user not found please sign up and if anything goes wrong something went wrong so let me show you what is pop up is so the pop up you can say show pop up and set show pop up so by default it will be false and uh, here it is you can see in the our html or let me just close this so in our html you can see if the show pop up is true then only this you know this code will run and this will be a simple pop up which you can uh, like get from any you know from any like tail blocks or any tailwind components it is a very common or very basic pop up so here you can see we have uh, an input tag in which you can write the otp and also a button which is like to submit that otp and you can see on submitting this function will uh, run which is otp check and it will check if the otp entered by the user is same as the original otp so if the otp is not same it will say invalid code and if it is same it will create a new cookie called reset email and it will equal to the email and then take the user to the reset password page so you can see this is the reset password page which we have just created you can see reset password.js and in this it is just similar to the login page you can see there are two input tags uh, the password and confirm password and a submit button and on submit it will go to the server and you can see on the server it will just update the password by the new password that's it so that's all and that's why it is very like easy and that's why i have not shown you but you can get the code okay if you want uh, you can get the source code all the source code will be in the description so don't worry that you have to write all these uh, but make sure to understand first then copy paste from the source code all right so what i was telling uh, after that after the server you can see if the data is passed then the password will be changed successfully and also we will remove the reset email cookie then we will just navigate the user to the long page so i hope you understand what we have done today so i hope you understand what we have done today uh, we have seen how to make an account page and how to add a forgot password page as well and yeah, one more time if you want the source code it will be available in the description it, uh, it is a github link to my account and uh, that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next part with an amazing content